Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Friday, October 11th, 2019. Let's shuffle this deck up and see what we have for the energy for our Friday, shall we? I can tell already we got a little bit of a nor'easter going on, so <clears throat> it's rather stormy weather out, which makes for a lot of different types of energy. Some of it can be chaotic, but a lot of it you can really make it your own and do some really cool things with just but really focusing on your goals and focusing on your ambitions and a lot of things can fall into play just because of that. But one thing's for sure, it's great lying in bed at night, just listening to that wind blow outside, being thankful for the comforts of the room, but it just makes you fall asleep so much more easily. So I think we're all set with these cards. Let's see what we get for our Friday card. That down. And then finally here. So I'm kind of drawn to this last pile today. So let's see what we get, shall we? All right, we have the death card. Let's not panic. And let's talk a little bit about the death card. First off, it's a major arcana card, which generally means some major events in our life. Now, some people ask, does death literally mean death? In some cases it can be, but for the better part of it all, it just goes into a lot more deeper meanings. Um, yeah, even deeper than death. So when we look at it, um, the death card, let's keep in uh, mind some um, terms, some key words like I've been doing lately um, for your day. One part of it is a transformation, a spiritual transformation, moving from one uh, um, realm to another, another vibe to another. So an evolution, if you will. Um, it can also mean letting go of the past, um, looking into new beginnings. It can mean endings. Of course, it's ultimately the ending for this guy down here, right? But with any ending, there's always a transformation. So it does mean a change, transformation. It can be sudden and unexpected upheaval. Things just changing rather quickly um, for whatever the reason. So it is a card that does offer a lot of um, different types of energies. Um, the biggest energy of all is, of course, change and transition. Now, that can mean for positive and that can mean for, um, I wouldn't say negative, but certainly for something that's less than um, happy. But the long story short of it all, the transformation is going to occur no matter what. Our job is to accept it take what we can learn from it, and then move forward with it. So for a general meaning for the day, um, a lot of times it's just something that we have to look into. It can be the end of a situation that you've been dealing with, whether it be to your benefit or not. It can also be um, you're dealing with someone that's been irresponsible and really unethical with you. So that being said, um, depending upon what you've been working with, you may be in a situation where you are a little upset about certain things and you may be dealing with someone that's been less than honest with you and been um, less than ethical with you. If that's the case, it's time to recognize that now and get away from it, move on from it and move forward with something else. Um, like I said, it can mean transformation um, and change. If that is the case, just understand some transformation is welcomed and great. Others are unexpected, sudden, and even can be traumatic. But the change will always bring a new lease on life. It will always bring the best part of you coming forward. So the best thing to understand about the energy of this card is try not to resist it. Resisting it can only make things especially the transformation or transition, more difficult and more painful. Instead, just try to embrace the change and look forward to a new start. This card um, can also signify that you need to let go of old issues, old beliefs, old situations that are no longer serving you. This is the time to take those, pack them up, and get rid of it. Time to move forward in a more positive direction giving up anything that no longer serves your higher being. So if there's one key term to take out of this reading for the energy of this card, it's definitely transition and transformation. So when we're looking in um, relationships, the death card energy can mean that, <clears throat> not the end of a relationship, although it could, 
Um, it could mean that things right now are not going as swimmingly as we'd like them to be. Maybe there's a couple of rough patches. Maybe you or the partner isn't being on, as honest as they could or you could. Um, in as, as that aside, it doesn't have to be an intimate relationship. It could be you with a relationship with a friend or whomever it might be. Long story short, whatever isn't serving you any longer in that relationship, let it go. Move forward. If it's an old argument, let it end. There's no reason to continually bring it up. If it's a relationship that is really struggling to stay alive, this is probably the time to let it die. Let it transform and move forward with yourself. From a money and a career standpoint, um, right now is not a good time to jump into anything um, that you're not completely 100% sure of. Because it is a transformation and a transition card, we may think this is a good time to jump into something, but right now it's probably a better idea for you to sit back and just wait a little longer to see how things play out because the situation itself that you could be involved in, in itself could be in a transition. And what you might want to do right now may not be where you want to be um, going forward. So long story short, I think this was a really good card for Friday. Well, it's all about transitions, right? And I hope you enjoyed the reading for today. Try not to get too stressed out about the card itself, but take the message away from the card, which is transition and transformation. So I do hope you enjoyed your reading. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. And until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.